It's fall, guys, and it's pumpkin time, and uh, I'm a little frustrated. I've been in uh, pumpkin mode for uh, this is day three, and uh, I think we're I think we've got something. But let me take you on a little little carving journey. Years past, this is like the snowman idea where I want to come up with something new or original every year if I can. And uh, years past, we've done these these guys here. All right. Um, I don't have, this one's not a video, but uh, I think there's another one somewhere. But uh, anyway, uh, new pumpkin every year. And this year, I thought I would like to see if I can cross our scarecrow, which has a tutorial, with the pumpkin head. All right, let's put these two together. So what I did was I started with this fella. This is a, he's a good looking guy. But uh, I realized that uh, it's just too big, too big for a video. These are videos I want to do knife only, no real uh, cutting. And uh, yeah, so it just was too much hogging wood off. So I went a little bit smaller. Still, these are two inch blocks, a little bit smaller, same idea. And uh, I thought it's still too much. This is going to be a major long video. So I went to an inch and a half. All right. And uh, I went down this path for a while, a little inch and a half fellas, and uh, I like them well enough, but they didn't have any uh, any bangs, and it's hard to tell that that hair is actually straw, all right? So then I started adding bangs, so here we go with the, the bangs, okay? And you can see this is where the old, the whisker idea started. <laughs> He's got eyes and, and whiskers. So then, of course, you got to take that one step farther and you get the eyes, whiskers, and add a cigar in his mouth. And I thought, this is pretty cool. And I said, oh my goodness, this is way too much. So anyway, I went down another path again. And I thought, what if we do bangs, more hair, and uh, the illusion of eyes, right? And uh, I kind of like that idea. So then I thought, I'll make one more. And... Uh, really whiskered out this guy and uh this is what i landed on and i think i'm going to stick with this guy here so today we're going to carve something something like this may not be identical but it'll be something like this all right so block of wood inch and a half square three inches tall that's it let's go all right we got our block of wood Let's just divide our block of wood into three, okay? Just draw a line all the way around. Like so. And like so. Alright. This is gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of work today, so there'll probably be some sped up times, but I should note right away I'm gonna use a flex cut detail knife. I'm gonna pull out a uh, little flex cut. I guess it's probably a number nine gouge. Got some V tool, but uh, a couple more tools. And if you don't have all the tools, uh, the next one's gonna have uh, be a lot easier. I guarantee it. But regardless, right off the bat here, you go in the bottom line there, and I'm gonna if let's say, let's say we're gonna draw a line. That's what we're doing, right? I'm just gonna do a swooping cut like that. See that? Do the same thing on all four corners. So even at this point, we have no idea which is the front or back. All right. And look at that. See that? All right. Well, same thing again. We can uh, let's look look your wood over. See if you got. There's a little bit of color here. Who knows? I can see something is in here. So I'm gonna stay away from that back. So this will be the uh, this will be the nose. So let's make that the nose. Okay. So on the sides there, let's just go on our line here, and all we're gonna do is say hello, train. See that? Not the nose. Okay, we did three sides. We can take the same thing and go down. Something to remember is, uh, or to always keep in mind, with this 
this is going to be a straw for hair, okay? So the pumpkin doesn't go, the straw is on top, okay? So don't, try not to get that pumpkin in on an angle too early, right? So we got our bottom. Let's, uh, well, let's, let's start the nose here. Cut the nose in, all right? A little, little wing cuts up here. Just row, just to make sure we know where the nose is, okay? Now we can do that down again. All right. Okay. These little bits here, say about half inch. One slice this way, one this way, one this way. Okay. So here, half inch, one slice this way, one slice this way. See, they just joined each other. Did I miss one? Yeah. All right, now we'll just go around. And there, we probably won't be touching that bottom again. Should be fairly round. Okay. All right, that's where we're at. So, I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my V tool. And uh, just run it around here. Really, this is the underside of the hat. So I'm not really, I'm just kind of keeping that V that cuts more on the bottom than uh, a true V. But we're going to do this a couple times, so. No biggie. All right, see that? That's all we did. Now I'm gonna do it one more time and really pay attention that I want that. Really, I only want to cut under the hat. I don't want to cut a V. So you can do this with your knife, easy, easy. But I'm going to. Uh, Take any chance I can get today to make this a little bit faster. There's still going to be some fast forward parts, I'm sure. But all right, see that? So bottom side of the hat and the, the nose. All right. Now we can just kind of bring that up. That's our hair. Let's knock that in. Same thing with the V tool. That's why we didn't touch that before. I do recommend a V tool here, and I'm going to show you in a second why. But uh, V tool is a. Uh, I almost went across the nose. <laughs> We're going to come up under there. But remember what I said? We don't want that arching in. We want it pretty pretty straight up. I may run that V tool around one more time. Let's get a little bit more, a little bit more hair space, a little bit deeper. Right. I was saying I do recommend a V tool it's just so we don't get cut lines, because we're going to uh, we're going to be let me show you here, bringing that hair up and down like that. And if you do a cut line, odds are that you're going to cut a little bit deeper and you're going to have a line across here after. So with the V tool, you don't cut deeper than you need to be. And then you can raise that up and down, right? Okay, now that uh, 
let's get this guy in, in the picture here. See how we got the, you know, three eighths, half an inch there. So we get whatever wing we created here, let's bring that in like that. Right. Same on this side, let's kind of bring that up. Take my V tool again. We don't have to go, we don't need any sharp corners or nothing. And again, all this can be cut with a knife here, but we just don't want to go too deep. Kind of shaping that nose from the point of the nose, just kind of okay. all right. Let's leave this alone for a minute. But that's where we are. See that? Yeah, like a little. A little helmet on the Mr. Pumpkin. Okay, let's go up and uh, all I'm going to do in this here, we're just going to rough shape the hat. By rough shaping the hat, I'm going to stay high. Like that's a good quarter inch left. See that? And you'll see I'm doing that because I want these hats, I want them close to the head. See, where's a bad one I did? I did a bad one like, like here. Right. I like I like this. Even that one's okay. But uh, anyway, that's what. Uh, so we're gonna be cutting it back on an angle, but we don't want to do that too too early. So it's gonna run around. I really want to get the, uh, the hat shaped roughly. Once, okay. Let's do it again. A little bit deeper if we can. If not, we'll take that off, and you can go deeper again. Right. All right. Now. removing the top of the hat. Don't have to be uh, fancy here because we're going to do it again. There's that black line. See that? It must be that piece of wood. I got that right here too. Must be the same piece of wood. I don't mind it. Okay. Run my V tool around again. Just trying to get that little little top on there. And we, we won't be finishing the hat until after we get the straw done, but it's nice to wrap everything in just to know where you are, right? Just coming down all the way around. It's gonna look rough and unfinished, but just 
let's wrap it in. Okay, now the top is rough. Always harder to uh, to cut across the end grain. And if your knife leaves white lines, it's time to strap. Right. I think we're in good shape still. At least the flex cut knives, they're a pretty good little knife. I should really use them more often because every time I use a different kind of knife, I get all the questions about where do I get that knife, but it's really not the knife. The knife's a knife. Would I prefer another one? I don't know. Sometimes. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. But that's a rough, rough hat done, okay? Now, this is the part that's gonna take some time and some thinking, but we're gonna rough up this hairline if we're ready. Let me, we can go around. Let's round this a little bit. Make sure we're happy with our pumpkin-ish shape. All right. Okay. All right, there won't be any points either. All right, this is the part, like I said, I'm going to uh, probably end up speeding it up, but we're going to make all kinds of little, little cuts. Just really want that straw to look uneven. Yeah. And like I said, if I had done a knife and I had cut across the bottom, there'd be I'd probably still be a knife mark there. So I'm just going to go around here. I'll just cut. Oh, I think I got something like that. I'll put a little cut here. Cut that out of there. Right. I can go right here. Cut up underneath of it. Maybe come back here. Go around it. You see that? Looks strange, but it'll all work out. We can do some big. V cuts here. This is all knife work. We're gonna run the V tool around after. That's why I say we don't we don't dare finish the bottom of our hat until we got all this kind of stuff done. All right, I'm gonna go here, put a sheath here, and come up under it like so. And uh, well, stuff like this. Whatever your mind comes up with. Okay. Now let's let's look here. Same thing. We can. Uh, these are going to be eyes under here. So I want to make sure that I've got something, something there. A little bit of a, a little V. All right. Now we can take that V here, come up like that. So, now we don't want them also, we don't want the exact same thing on both sides, but. lots of different jags and jags. Is that a word? Jags? What was I trying to say? I still don't know 
what I was trying to say. <laughs> All right. So it's strange. Well, I'm going to uh, get the idea here. I'm going to clean this up and uh, maybe add a couple more, but uh, that's the idea. We're just doing chunks of cheese, I guess, straw. But there's a lot more things I can do. All right, give me a second and... Uh, I'll come back. Kind of undercutting some of these little flat spots. And I think we're good, but Hope you get the idea of this. This is just a crazy looking uh, jumbled up bit of hair. Now I'm going to take a V-tool and I'm just going to be ruthless on here. Take me down. All right. Up. After I do, this is a bigger one. If I had a just one, I would just do deeper and, and uh, lighter. But then I'm just gonna take a little little one to put some more straw in. And all these, I'm going, I'm kind of crossing over. Like I don't really care. I'm just going this way, a little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. A little bit flat there, so I'm gonna take that off of there. All right. But lots, lots of lines, lots of cuts. All right. So again, I'm gonna leave you alone in an effort to keep this video under an hour. And uh, yeah, make sure. No, no, you don't want a bunch of straight lines. You want a little bit this way and that way. I mean, a few straight lines is fine, but nothing uniform. And if you got anything that's too too flat like that, then you can always take a little a little V out of there too, All right? So let's uh, let's work our way around. I'll meet you back when we're all looking good. All right, that's what I got. Now we got to do a cleanup, but this cleanup is going to be a real clean cut straight in. That's the bottom of the hat. So that's where we're going to cut out all those little chewed up marks that we just banged into with our V-tool. Right. That's why I said we didn't want to finish under the hat until the straw was done. Right. Boy, the storm is not over yet.
Okay, we can get all these little fuzzies out after the fact, but... All right, I hope uh, hope that made sense and you got the idea. No, just up and down and back and forth and no no square corners. Little, uh, little V-cuts here and there, different layers, different levels. It's uh, kind of fun. Yeah. Where my knife around? There we go. At least do the front. Nice cut. All right. Now, before we get into the face, let's finish the hat off. And I'm going to, uh, I got all that meat there. I'm going to go right across like that. I'm just going to work that around. I want that hat kind of drooping down. straighter and like I said I never like these sharp edges so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take that corner off of there because as soon as you grab that or it drops you're gonna break one of those little chips off so I'm just gonna get a little, a little bit of an edge around there All right, I'm going to come down. ballooned on top. So. You can shape any hat you want. All right. Okay, okay. Now, if you want to do a band on your hat. I'm gonna put a band on this guy's hat. So you just run your knife around. Ah what the heck, let's do it. Just put my knife around, cutting down to it. Just like so. Trying to make sure you keep a uniform thickness for that band. Join them up. That is not a uniform thickness, Doug. Oh well, that'll work. Just don't like all these uh, uniform cuts either. So go down and up, and then just a little. Little edge on that band, a little angled back, so it's not too sharp. All right. Okay, that's where we're at, right there. So 
we got a face here. One thing I like to do, and if you don't have a gouge, you can you can just cut with your knife in. But I like to use a gouge and just come up on each side of the nose. All right. Into that one, dummy. <laughs> and give that nose some shape. All right. about the uh, the eyes up here yet so let's worry about our nose still now let's make a stop cut on each side of the nose up just a just a whisker we're gonna eighth of an inch straight in try to do the same thing on the same side same side same distance I'm going to come out like so. And under the nose. And then we should take out my favorite little chip like that. Same thing over here. Come across. Under the nose. Like so. We have our nose roughed in and really we're not going to do much more with that nose right. that's pretty much it okay now these eyeballs are not going to be eyeballs see that but we do want to just undercut each side a little bit so i'm going to stick my knife in there Hang on, Finn. All right. I'm just going to come right on there. And just by undercutting that, see that? Gives the illusion of an eye. So, same thing on this side straws in his eyes. That's what I'm saying. To let my dog in because the thunderstorm's starting and he's scared silly. Alrighty, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make big frown lines out here. Alright, so, so I'm just gonna take my knife, throw my knife in like so, and just cut against it. All right. Same on this side. That. Clean that up a little bit. Oh boy. So, you know what's fall? And, uh, more rain, fall rain, the uh, getting dark. Probably getting dark. Before 7.30 nowadays. Okay. Now, if you look at this guy here, you can see I've got inside little 
frown or smile lines. All right, and I put it quirky sideways like that on purpose. And we're gonna do that again. So, I'm gonna make one little U higher like that. And one, you know what I'm saying, a little lower like that. Something like that. We're talking about hail coming with this storm. That one, and then their lower one here, which just put in a little V cut, like so. See that? I'm gonna round that out a little bit. All right, and then give them a little, a little goopy little smile. We'll start really high, the way down, like so. All right. Take my knife, and I come in a bit of an angle this way. Like that. And then if I do that right, I may not have to touch that again. All right. Now I'm just going to cut up to it. Now, I don't like that. So I'm going to put a little, little edge on that top lip. Just to give her that sharpness. All right. All right, there you go. Now, I'm going to take my gouge again. If you don't have a gouge, you can always use your knife. I'm going to undercut that. I'm just going to take my gouge and I'm going to start fairly heavy in the middle. I'm going to work up to nothing on the edges. See what I mean? Like a little bit heavy and then up to nothing. Come on. Those little colored bits of, uh, of wood there. They're actually hard. Must be like a knot material. corners here I'm gonna take that off come right up like that take them out see on this side I come up I take that chip right out of there so that the bottom lip is smaller see that? all right my camera's telling me to change the battery I can't make any progress here today so anyway that's what I'll do all right we are almost there we just got making a pumpkin so i'm going to take ooh, listen here i'll show you freddy cat hey freddy cat he is uh so spooked by storms anyway let's make the pumpkin a pumpkin so what does that mean little line here under the nose same one underneath here let's go over to the side here the side here go to the back here all right and I'm just going to uh, take the feet, feet cuts out of there all right and see on the bottom I'll take a secondary little bevel on there. Making the pumpkin the pumpkin. Same thing on the back. The 
bottom. Put the little stop cuts on the top, and then when I go across, it should pop out. Yeah. All right, nose. Could take a V tool, but I'll just use my knife. This is going to be a nice and deep one here. We're covering two things. The pumpkin luck and the snot trough. And yes, I say snot trough because someone's going to come back and correct me and call it the filtrum or whatever. The one on the bottom, same thing. Well, let me cut that lip just a little bit more. I think that's our pumpkin. Oh, let's uh, we're gonna go for hobo pumpkin. Let's, what do I do? Let's put a patch on his hat, All right? I'm drawing it. I don't have to draw it. I'll just cut it. A hobo patch on his hat. Right. Take all those little angles off. Spray them. That really shows the highlights, the uh, shadows, and whatnot. But there is our pumpkin, hidden eye pumpkin man, hobo, whatever you want to call him. All right, there you go. I know how fun it is to watch a painting video, but let me tell you if you want to see this guy look like this guy I'm gonna make a separate painting video because there's a lot of little tips and tricks I do with this and including the whiskers too whiskers can't come until uh, after so if you want to stick around for that I'll make another video but if that's it thanks to anybody who bought me coffee this week always appreciate it never expected competing with the train I'm gonna beat the train uh, Stick around, watch the paint video. You might learn something. So there you go, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.